Hey, movie club. I, uh, I just finished watching Super, and all I can say is, holy shit, what the fuck? That was a surprise. Um, I really didn't know what to expect going to this film. I saw the title, and I thought it looked kind of lame. Then I saw Rain Wilson, Ellen Page were in it, and also Kevin Bacon. And then I saw Nathan Fillion's name in the opening credits, so I was like, alright, this is gonna be good. I'm excited. And it was funny, and... I got really excited. I was like, how did I not hear about this? This is like really good and really funny so far. And um, so Rain Wilson is this guy who uh, whose wife leaves him sort of for this drug dealer played by Kevin Bacon who did a great job in his limited screen time. And um, Rain Wilson killed the role. Did it perfect. Ellen Page was attractive and also did a very, very good job acting. Uh, didn't expect her to end up being a little bit more crazy than Rain Wilson's character was, Frank. Like, whoa. Like, I thought the scene where he finally starts beating people up with a pipe wrench was hilarious. But then he hits that one guy who cuts in line. It's, like, hilarious, but also, like, whoa, that was probably a little too far. And the movie just kept getting darker and darker. Like, and I didn't realize it was... I only saw it was a black comedy after I, after I looked up the film later. But whoa, dude, that ending, when Ellen Page got shot, I was like, oh, suddenly the feels were too much, I don't know. But yeah, I can't, I can't deny that the movie didn't surprise me, the, I can speak English, I can't deny the movie surprised me, but I did not expect the very, very dark ending. Where, um, but I did, well, it did, it did clean itself up a little bit when, uh, his wife leaves him again, but then she goes on to do better things, and he decides to, and he, I thought it was a very, actually, really refreshing take to, uh, have it instead, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't, he saves the day, sort of, but in, like, in a maniacal way, and, uh, the movie was violent, and it reminded me a lot of Kick-Ass, which everyone's probably gonna say. I looked up, apparently this, these films were made at pretty much the exact same time. And uh, the, both directors of each movie were like friends, and they heard, they heard about it, and they're like, oh, it kind of sucks, but whatever. It's cool. But yeah, Kick-Ass is probably is a better film, but this one was still refreshing, and I enjoyed it a lot. I don't know if it'll, I'll probably want maybe show it to a friend once, like, in the future, if they're ever... Would we want to watch something we don't want to watch? I'll suggest this. I could, I'd watch it again with friends to show it to them. That, would, but wow. Also, that really, really weird rape scene. That like, I kind of wanted Ellen Page to bone him, but then I was like, but he's he's not into this at all, and I was like, oh, this is weird. I don't know. The Nathan Fillion bit with the on the All Jesus channel was fucking hilarious. <laughs> I love that. Um, yeah, no, the movie had its funny parts, definitely, but really dark in the second half. Especially the cringeworthy scene that basically everyone except got, what was his name, Mr. Range, and he starts trying to rape uh, Sarah, Liv Tyler. That was, ooh. But that's not what I, but that's... I mean, he, at least he stopped that from happening, but when he, when Ellen Page gets shot, he just goes nuts, and, whoa, buddy. A little cray-cray. But yeah, I'm still floored by this movie. I did not expect the ending. I can understand why it didn't, the critics didn't like it as much, but I enjoyed it for the action parts, as well as the dark parts, and the comedic parts. So I enjoyed every bit, but it kept jumping around, I guess, between what it wanted, what it was being. It was well made. Uh, the script was smart. And, uh, it was very...
if yeah, the act it was well acted. The acting carried the movie definitely, and um, also Ellen Page is attractive. Can't deny that. But whoa, because after seeing Kick Ass, I had a, like an idea of going into what this was gonna be like, but it definitely took. I, w I guess I could say a more, much more realistic turn. You know, because Kick-Ass ended like how you wanted it to end when you saw it. You just didn't know how exactly it was going to happen. This movie did not end how you thought it was going to. Oh, man. But yeah. So that was a surprise. Guy, you want to say hi to the nation? Here, come here. This is the puppy. Guy. So that was a movie. That was a violent movie, huh? All right, I've fulfilled. Well, I don't have a cat right now, so I guess not quite filled, fulfilled, you know, the requirements for YouTube views. But at least I have a cute puppy. Anyway, all right. So that was my thoughts, Nation. I can't wait to hear yours, and I'll see you next week. What a film, man! I'm glad I watched it. But whoa, holy shit! What an ending! Alright, I'm signing off.